everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make smothered liver and onions. This recipe right here, it's amazing. So easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Gina Young style is gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my smothered liver and onions before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Of course, you're gonna need some liver. So we have some beautiful beef liver here. This is calf's liver, and I've washed it with lime juice, salt, and cold water, and then I've pat it dry with a paper towel. You will need a sweet Vidalia onion. Alongside of our smothered liver, we're gonna have some yellow squash. You're gonna need some broth, some chicken broth. And if you don't have whatever kind of chicken broth you wanna use, I just happen to have the chicken if you have beef or even water will do the trick. We're gonna use this for our gravy. You're gonna need some white rice, and you will need some flour so that we can dredge our beautiful liver, and a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. You're gonna need some beef base, and this is beef bouillon base. All right, you're gonna need garlic and onion powder, some paprika and parsley flakes, pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so like I said earlier, um, one thing you definitely wanna do with your liver is rinse it off and then take a paper towel to blot it and get it nice and dry. You don't want it to be too wet when you dredge it in your flour. Now, when we season, the um the liver it really doesn't have to be seasoned on both sides because it's so thin okay so we're gonna go in with some garlic powder just like so and listen here sometimes liver falls apart you know when you take it out of the package if that happens in your case don't freak out about it it's okay okay so that's the garlic powder a little bit of paprika this is not smoked paprika okay all right, there we go. We're gonna put some onion powder in there. That's gonna give great flavor. Just like this. I couldn't be more excited for this recipe. This is definitely a staple that we would always have, uh, you know, at my house when I was a child. And I even loved liver as a child. Now, uh, Dakota, you know, he's only 11 and he loves liver. He loves it because it's made right, you know? And I always like to tell people, don't knock something until you try it. And you gotta try it the right way, you know? Because somebody make, make liver for you and they don't season it well, or they don't make the right gravy or something. It doesn't taste right, and then for the rest of your life, you'll say, oh no, I don't like it. But if you try it Gina Young style, listen here, you're gonna love it. And if you're that person that's ever said you don't like liver, try a Gina Young style, then come back and let me know what you think. Okay, everyone, so we let these gorgeous spices kind of seep down into this liver for just about 10 minutes. So now let's dredge. You don't want to use cornmeal. Any kind of flour you have will do this trick. Will self-rising flour work? Absolutely it will, okay? This is all purpose that I'm using, but if I had self-flour, uh, self-rising flour, I would use it. So now we're gonna dredge it just like so, okay? Pretty simple, right? Nothing hard to this recipe, all right? Once we get a nice dredge onto it, we're gonna give it a little shake. Just set it aside, just like so. This is a piece that torn, but guess what? It's still delicious, okay? And I just put the gloves on just because I don't wanna wash my hands afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but if you're squeamish to touching different meats, use gloves, okay? And it's that simple. All right, I'm gonna continue to dredge all of this gorgeous liver, just like so, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so we're here at the larger stove, and I have some salted water that I'm gonna put my boil in a bag rice. All you have to do is salt your water, boil your water, Cook your rice for 11 minutes. It always turns out nice and fluffy. 11 minutes is only needed. Okay, so now over here, I have a hot pan and you see I have a tiny bit of oil. You don't need a lot of oil, okay? And so we're gonna take our dredged liver, just like so. If it slips off your fork, use your fingers. 
Okay, we're gonna put it into the pan just like this. And if you don't hear that sizzle like that, don't put any more in. That means your pan's not hot enough, okay? So what we're aiming for is a nice, beautiful golden brown color, okay, on one side. And once that happens, we'll flip it to the other side, just like so when I come back. So the vegetable I've chose to use is the yellow squash today. If you never had squash and liver together, it's amazing, give it a try. So I thought about cooking two, but I'm just gonna cook one. Okay, what we're gonna do is make sure you wash off your squash, cut the ends off, and what I like to do is you don't wanna cut it too thick, yet you don't wanna have it too thin, okay? So try your best to do something like that, okay? And if you wanted to, you can cut it down this way if you like, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this yellow squash with onions. But I've told you all before, when you're cooking squash with onions, I don't suggest cooking the two together. And the reason why is because the onions will overpower your squash. So here's what you do if you want the squash and the onions together. You take those onions, you chop them up or slice them, you saute them first and get a nice color onto them. Take them out the pan. And then you cook your squash and then you throw them all together. Okay, and that way you can get two different flavors rather than the onions overwhelming this gorgeous flavored squash. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm only gonna chop up one just like so. And meanwhile, we'll keep checking in on our liver because liver does not take long to cook. Okay, everyone, Prince and Polo are here to say hello. Okay, say hi. We have Polo there. Polo has a bandana on. <laughs> and Princey, he does not like clothes, so he's not wearing one. Say hi, guys. It's starting to smell really good in here. Okay, so what we're going to do, start on our onions first. I have a little tiny bit of vegetable oil in my pan and about two tablespoons of uh, butter, any kind of butter. Okay, so we're going to take our onions, get them nice and sauteed. After that happens, we'll take the onions out of the pan and then we're going to put the squash into the pan and we want to get a golden brown color onto that gorgeous squash. Okay, now when I come back, we'll take a peek over at our liver when I come back. Okay, everything, everything, everything. <laughs> Slow down, Gina. Everyone, everything is looking amazing. We got some gorgeous color. Go ahead and flip it over. Okay, look at that. That's what you're wanting to achieve on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna flip it just like so. All right, and as the um, liver shrinks up a little bit, you'll be able to add more liver into your pan. Okay, let's get that one flipped over. We'll take a peek in over here at our rice. Here in about three more minutes, we'll take that rice out of the pan and we'll start on an amazing gravy. So our onions are out of the pan and we've cooked off that raw flavor from the onions that I was speaking about. That way we don't transfer that raw onion flavor to our squash. So here's what they look like, okay? Beautiful, they're nice and sweet. And to our pan, we have a little bit of oil still left in there. We're gonna put a tablespoon of butter in, all right? And then we're gonna place our beautiful yellow squash in just like so, and guess what? We're not gonna flip these over until they have a beautiful golden brown color underneath. It doesn't take long. You don't need to go in with the fork bothering it. And don't cook the heck out of it until they get, you know, too, too soft. You still want to have a little bit of texture to them, okay? Now, in the pan, they'll shrink a little bit, and then I'll be able to throw these ones in. Okay, everyone. So what we're doing, we're taking the liver out of the pan. And listen here. I don't want you all to freak out if you see a little bit of pink in the liver. Guess why? Because we're going to recook this liver a little bit more. And we're gonna recook it in that gorgeous gravy that I'm gonna show you how to make that is so simple. This liver smells amazing. And I want you all to see something in this pan here. In the pan, I have the flour drippings that comes from the uh, liver. And that flour in there is going to help and assist to give flavor and help to thicken up our gravy. 
Okay, everyone, so we have the drippings from our liver, and just in case there isn't enough flour to thicken up our gravy, on standby, I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, that's only if the gravy doesn't thicken up with that flour that's in the pan. And what you would do is you would put that two tablespoons of cornstarch and you're gonna mix it in cold water and make a slurry, okay? So, first thing that I wanna do is I wanna get this beef bouillon paste, great concentrated beef flavor, right into this oil and this flour and all of those drippings, gonna give you an amazing flavor. And there is another ingredient that I didn't tell you earlier about. We might use some soy sauce, all depending on how our gravy tastes after we give it a taste. If you feel like it needs a little bit more flavor, put just some soy sauce in. So you're either gonna put water in here, any kind of stock you have. In my case, today we're using chicken broth. You got beef broth, use it. Okay, we're gonna go in with our whisk, just like this. See how thick it gets. If it doesn't get thick enough, we'll put our cornstarch and our cold water in and thicken that bad boy up. Okay, so I've cut up a little bit of onion for our smothered liver and onions. And then um, let's take a peek in at the squash. Some of the squash has a nut. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm looking for. And we're not gonna take it out of the pan until each side has that beautiful color. And listen here, if you turn it over, it doesn't have that color, don't freak out. Just turn it back over, okay? Just like so, ooh, it's hot. I, I'll tell you one thing. This is one of my favorite uh, vegetables, besides cabbage, like I love cabbage, but squash, there's just something nice and buttery and flavorful about itself. So I, let me show you the consistency. This is the consistency that I have, so you can tell I'm not happy with that consistency. It does need to be thicker. So what we're gonna do, we've taken that cornstarch slurry, we've poured a little bit of cold water in it, or yeah, we've taken our cornstarch, I'm sorry, and we've put the cold water in it to make our cornstarch slurry. This will get poured into this mixture here right after this liquid comes up to a boil. And then very quickly, it'll get nice and thick for us. Must season your squash pepper, and you only really need to season one side, okay, definitely. I'm gonna put some pepper in there, it's gonna give us great flavor, and some salt. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm excited, you hear me? This right here alone will make you smack your mama. All right, so now go ahead while that other side is getting nice, beautiful, and golden brown, Add your sauteed onions, just like so, and let it cook until everything is a beautiful color. Okay, everyone, so we're back over here at our liquid, and you can see that it's came up to a boil. Go ahead and throw a little bit of onions in there, okay? It wouldn't be called smothered liver and onions without that onion. We're only gonna cook this onion until it gets nice. You, you know, you don't want the onion to get soggy. You want it to still have some bite. And I like to put it in right at this time so that it can give that gravy some great flavor. So now that this is boiling, give it one more jizz around, pour it right into your liquid. And we're gonna whisk it. In about three to four minutes, it'll be nice and thick like we want. Okay, everyone, it's only been three minutes and I know you all can see just how nice and thick that is. But you gotta season, okay? We're gonna go in with some onion powder. We're gonna go in with some garlic powder. Oh yeah. We're, we're gonna, hold, we're gonna uh, hold off on the salt until we taste it, okay? Pepper just like so. Give it another swirl around and guess what happens next? The liver, oh yeah, that liver, it goes back in and it gets nice and nestled down into that gravy. Oh, mommy, look at that. Oh, you see it, uh-huh. Well, you better make it for your family and friends and all of your loved ones. And when they ask you, where the heck did you get this recipe from? Make sure you tell them Gina Young showed me how. Oh, look at that. Ooh, because they're gonna want this recipe. Our liver and onions is done, and the gravy is out of sight. You hear me? Make sure you taste your food. If you don't taste your food, you don't know what you're gonna feed to your family and friends and loved ones. It doesn't matter if you have to taste it three and four times. Okay, so now, some of the squash is done, and the pieces, look at that. 
the pieces is done, we're gonna take it out. Look at those onions, oh yeah. But then you can also see that some pieces, they're just not done. Well, what you do, leave it in the pan until they're done, okay? And it's that simple. Look at that gorgeous color that we've achieved. That's what we're looking for. Okay, everyone, now I want you to see that consistency. Oh, <laughs> not too thick, not too thin just right and there's no lumps there's no lumps because you keep on stirring and then also um when you are here's what i'm going to do i have a 12 by 9 uh baking pan over here that typically i would use for you know baking things well i'm going to use it to put our liver and onions and our rice in okay so here's what i'm going to do we're going to scoot that rice over just like so in this manner and then we're gonna take this lovely liver, come on out. All right, look at that, look at that piece. Don't you want that piece? Put it on here, just like so. All right, I'm gonna put all of the gravy and liver on here. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Smother liver and onions and gravy, white rice and beautiful yellow squash. Gina Young style, make you so. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind that evil devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, love, peace, and joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer, come on in. Take a look. Well, I'm giving you guys a bite. And you know I'm not gonna taste test it because my teeth are very sore. I had my teeth tightened today at the dentist and I can't bite down into anything. Look at this. Now that right there, that's a piece of liver. And look at this, look at the gorgeous fluffy rice. And what about that squash? <laughs> Woo, take a bite. And as always, I bless you all. Thank you all for watching.